Here we are in the Mississippi Delta, which is one of the poorest regions in the country. It's located along the Mississippi River in the northwestern part of the state. This is day two of my southern road trip. Today we're going to show you some towns that are really poor. A lot of this is because of a loss of agricultural jobs. There was a big history of slavery here as well. Today, it's extremely poor. And dollar stores dominate the region. Poverty in this part of the country has been going on since the 1900s. The first city we're going to take a tour of is Yazoo City. The population is 10,000. In Yazoo City, you can buy a home for $82,000. The median income here is $31,000, while the average is $75,000 in America. And 40% of Yazoo City lives below poverty. Yazoo City is one of the bigger towns in the region. And it's not the worst one I've been to. It certainly looked the nicest, but... The stats don't lie. Yazoo City is really, really poor. The sad part about this town is there really wasn't much to do. There were plenty of restaurants in the area compared to some of the other towns, but because it was a Sunday, everything was closed. There really aren't many opportunities or much to do for work in the Delta, and it shows. This is downtown Yazoo City, which is pretty empty and pretty lifeless but i must say there are a lot of cool businesses here and it is really really colorful here you can see a lot of the shutdown businesses but they even have a nickel and dime store that's dope statistically yazoo city is the poorest city in mississippi now there are some smaller towns that are poorer but places of a de had that actually have a decent population yazoo city is by far the poorest it's pretty sad when you consider that 40% of the population here lives below the poverty line. Most of this region is very black. Yazoo City itself is about 86% black. The poverty is really bad on the outside of town, on like the outskirts of Yazoo City. But I needed somewhere to eat, so I found this really unassuming soul food restaurant. It was the only place that was open in Yazoo City on a Sunday, and everyone was there. It's called Thelma's Kitchen, and it's on the outside of town. You have to go down a dirt road to get here. It was very busy. Here's the soul food right here. We got catfish, mac and cheese, cornbread, collard greens, and green beans. All this for about 14 bucks. Not bad. Mm. Catfish here is delicious. Collard greens. Collard greens are hit or miss. Usually, either they're really good or really bad. Mm. These are really good. Mac and cheese. Everything here is delicious. The next town we're going to check out is Belzoni. Belzoni is a small town not too far away from Yazoo City with a population of 1,900 people. Belzoni is called the catfish capital of the world due to the catfish farming in the area. And that's probably the only um, employer in the area, considering how poor this place is. Now, Belzoni by far looked the worst of any of the towns I visited. I was actually taken back by how bad some of the poverty was in this town. Bel in Belzoni, you can buy a house for $81,000. Their downtown is basically empty. I didn't see many businesses here. As you can see, there really isn't much of anything in downtown Belzoni. The median income here is a low $37,000, but that's still higher than Yazoo City. But the poverty rate's the same at 40%. Some houses look nice, but, but as I got further into the town, the worse the houses looked. Now, in the past, there have been many opportunities to help the Delta, but... Mississippi's government always turns them down. It's pretty sad because the Delta could definitely use some help. But why was there a loss of agricultural jobs in the first place? Well, automation. A farm that may have required 100 people at one time now only requires five. And you have to have the skills to be a farmer. Many of the people here lack education. In many towns, over 30% of the population doesn't even graduate high school. Many of the schools in the area are shutting down, and apparently the hospitals are too. 
Mississippi ranks really high in almost every bad statistic. Mississippi's the poorest state in the country, has the most teen pregnancies, it's one of the most obese states. And of all states in the country, Mississippi is by far the most behind the times. It's a very backward state. One bright spot in the Delta was Indianola, which has a population of 9,500. Now, when you drive into Indianola, the first thing I noticed was all the fast food restaurants. I mean, in the Delta period, there really aren't much places where you can eat or where there's a good supermarket. Some of the larger towns have supermarkets or maybe a Walmart, but for the most part, it's just fast food and dollar stores, which is why the population in this region is so obese. House for $110,000. The median income here is $36,000, and the poverty rate is lower than what we just saw in Belzoni at 28%. I found this to be the nicest town I saw, and I actually kind of liked it. There were some really old houses that actually look like they were kind of big, like they might have been a plantation house back in the day. Now, of course, poverty does not define who people are. I actually found people in the Delta to be very friendly and hospitable. It's definitely part of that Southern hospitality. People here are friendly and very generous. People here are enriched, but money does not define the people down here. God does in many parts of the South. Now, if you happen to be in Indianola for some weird reason, I recommend you check out the B.B. King Museum. Blues were invented in the Delta, and you can see why. Downtown Indianola was actually pretty nice. Most of the properties were and still in business. There were actually plenty of businesses here in Indianola. I wonder what people do here for work. Overall, I liked Indianola, and I actually thought it was a pretty nice town. In a sense, I feel like you could compare the Mississippi Delta to Appalachia. In Appalachia, it was a loss of coal mining jobs, while here was agriculture. In Appalachia, it's mostly white. In the Mississippi Delta, it's mostly black. And while the Delta is flat and filled with a bunch of farms, Appalachia is very mountainous. And like I said before, money doesn't really define these people. I mean, as long as you have a place to live, some food, a community, a church, that's really all you need for many of these people. They're content. But most of you guys are looking at this video like, wow, how bad are these places? You know what, though? The people are very nice. And it still beats living in a big city where crime and homelessness is insane. It's better than living in Portland or Seattle. And the crime isn't really too bad in the Delta. Now, there was a really bad side of Indianola towards the end of town. And when we were going through it, I was thinking we can send billions of dollars to Ukraine, but we can't fix the Delta. I think the Delta could use a billion dollars. Don't you think? I mean, just think of all the money we give overseas and we have places that look like this. It's really not right. Now the last town I'm going to show you is the small town of Lambert, Mississippi, with a population of only 1,000 people. The median home value in this town is only $58,000, and the median household income is the lowest on this list of only $28,000, and the poverty rate is 28%. We really just passed through this town and didn't really get much footage. I mean, the town is really tiny. The nearby town of Marks was actually even worse, but I didn't get any footage there. Well, that's it for our Mississippi Delta tour.